Hi there, I'm just going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to do pie chart questions on Maths Watch. I've had a few students tell me they're struggling either just with the questions in general or how to draw the pie chart specifically. So I'm going to walk through one of those questions now um, so you can open up Maths Watch at the same time if you want to go through it or you can just watch this tutorial. So I've got this question in front of me, a uh, full mark question and it's got uh, quite a bit of information here but specifically I can see a table with some empty spaces in and a pie chart again with some empty spaces in. So uh, just quick read of the question then. This table shows the last holiday destination of 90 people. We need to complete the table and draw a pie chart to represent this information. Uh, you'll see in blue just right at the bottom of these questions it says please draw your pie chart in a clockwise direction from the line already drawn. Well that means starting from the top of the pie chart we're going to be working this sector first, then this one, then this one, and then this one. I realize on a video that might seem backwards. Um, and follow the order from the table, so from Spain to Morocco to France and to others. So they're going to be in order as well. Okay, so two things to do here. One is to work out the angle in column of the table, and that's going to be our first thing to do, and then we're going to draw it into the pie chart. So table first. We need to be able to work out um, what the angle for Spain is, what the angle for Morocco is for France or France, and what the angle is for other. Now for pie chart questions, we know that the, all the angles together are always going to add up to 360 degrees. If we go around the circle, it's always going to be 360 degrees no matter how big the circle is. So we're going to be splitting 360 by however many items or people that they are in the question. And a quick read of the question says this, the table shows the last holiday destination of 90 people. So we're going to do 360 all the way around divided by 90. And that's going to tell us how much one person is worth. Now these are non-calculator based questions, so you can use pen and paper um, to work that out. If you're really struggling though, you can use a calculator um, if that's what's stopping you from doing these questions. I'd rather you be able to do the pie chart questions with help than not do them at all. So um, 360 all the way around our pie chart then divided by 90 people. So 360 divided by 90 is going to give us an answer of four. Okay, so split 360 into four pieces, uh, uh, into 90 pieces, and each piece is going to be four. I know that because four times 90 is 360 as well. So that number four then, what that is, is telling us every one person in the pie chart, or every one thing in a pie chart for other questions, is worth four degrees. Okay, so we've got Spain here. It's got 42 people in it. Frequency is how many there are. So 42 and every one person is worth 4 degrees. <clears throat> so 42 times 4 and that's going to give us an answer of 168. Okay, um, And that's the angle for Spain. Next one then, Morocco. We've got 16 people in there. 16 times 4 is going to be 64. I know 16 times 2. Um, is 32 and 32 times 2 is 64. So you can just double it and double it again to times by 4. France has got 20 people in it, so 20 times 4 is going to give us an answer of 80. And then lastly, other, got 12 people in there, so 12 times 4 is going to give us an answer of 48. And all these angles should add up to 360 because remember it's making a circle. So that's that, the table's complete. Now all we need to do is uh, put that information into our pie chart. Now, I'm gonna start at the top of the table and work clockwise around the circle going down the table step by step. So this first one, for example, is gonna be Spain. The second one's gonna be Morocco. Next one's gonna be France, France. And then the last one's gonna be other, just like that, because it's working clockwise around the circle. OK, um, so I put the labels in. Normally on a paper based question, you do that last label them up or do it as you're drawing the lines. OK, so looking up here, we've got some different tools to make pie charts with. There's a ruler, a compass, a protractor and a pencil. And we're going to use three of these for these exercises. 
The rulers used to draw straight lines. Protractors used to measure angles. The pencils not used to draw, but rather to make marks, cross marks, so that you can see where you've measured to. So I'm going to start with the protractor here. I'm just going to bring this up. And this is fairly easy to use. You just drag and drop it. You want the middle of the protractor to be in the exact middle of the circle, wherever you can. And what we're going to be doing a lot is just moving this blue one out the way, first of all. Okay, so moving that out the way. And I'm doing that so I can see the yellow dot. So once I've got the yellow one, I'm moving that to the first line on the question. And all I'm doing here is just making sure that the Spain section that they've drawn is 168. So I'm going to, I've moved the yellow one to that line going down. So I'm going to move the blue one to the next line going across. Ooh. And it's perfect, 168 degrees. Okay, well, that's it. I'm going to move on to the next one now. So I'm going to move the blue one out the way. And I'm going to move the yellow to the line that they've drawn down here like so, and then I'm gonna move the blue one until it's the right measurement for Morocco, 64. So move it down a bit, and there it is. Okay, 64 degrees. So I've got my protractor in the right position. I can see the dotted line is where I want to be able to draw. What I'm gonna do here is uh, take a pencil and just move it somewhere over this dotted line and click the end of the pencil to make a little cross like so, okay? And I'm gonna move my protractor out of the way now. So I'm now gonna click on the ruler to draw a straight line. And what I'm gonna do is move the ruler using this up down arrow here, so that the cross and the middle of the pie are on the top edge of the ruler, because that's how we're gonna draw a straight line. Moving it slightly, doing it little bits, like so. And I think that's close enough. All I'm now gonna do is take the blue mark at the top of the ruler, click and hold, and drag it right across all the way to the center of the pie, like so. And that's giving me a nice straight line. Great, and then I'm gonna move my ruler out of the way. Okay, next one then. I'm gonna move the tractor back, to the middle of the pie chart, move the blue one out of the way. A bit high, that's better. Move the yellow one over the line we've just drawn. And then I'm gonna measure my next section. France is gonna be 80. So I'm gonna move that blue one down a little bit until it's at 80, perfect. Take the pencil, move it over the line, of the protractor, and then click on the end of the pencil to make another cross. Move the pencil out of the way, move the protractor out of the way, and get the ruler back. All right, so again, using that up, down arrow on the ruler. Moving it a little bit till it's just right. Okay, and I think that's good. So now I'm got the ruler so that it's over the cross, the top edge is over the cross and the middle of the circle. Click and hold the blue, draw a straight line to the middle of the circle, move the ruler out of the way. Okay, and that's it. We've got each of the sections drawn. Now the last thing I'm gonna do here is just move my protractor um, back to the middle and measure that last section to make sure it's matching up with this 48. So I'm gonna move my blue one out of the way, move my yellow to the line we've just drawn, same as we've been doing, and then put the blue in the top one, and that's actually very slightly, and that's perfect. There you go. Okay, so using the protractor, the ruler, and the pencil, we've been able to draw that. Okay, I can click on those to hide them again, and then submit answers. Hopefully we've got all four marks. Perfect, four out of four. Okay, so drawing um, a pie chart on MathsWatch can be a little bit tricky. Start with the table, so divide 360 by however many people or things that there are, 90 it was for us, to tell us how many degrees it is per person or per item. Then times frequency by that number that you've got. So we had four, 360 divided by 90 was four. 
times each of these by four to work out what the angle for those sections are. Then for drawing the pie chart, we use the protractor to measure the areas, the pencil to make little marks, crosses in the pie, and the ruler to actually draw the straight lines on there as well. And that's pretty much it. I hope that was helpful um, and I'll see you soon.